Well, politically speaking, all eyes are once again on Philadelphia in the race for the White House. Vice President Kamala Harris came to town again today. She sat down with black journalists for a panel interview and CBS News Philadelphia's Aziza Shuler joins us now with some of the highlights of this highly anticipated appearance and this Q&A session. Aziza. Natasha Siafa, this is the vice president's seventh visit to Philadelphia this year, and it comes exactly one week after the presidential debate, which took place just steps away from us at the National Constitution Center. Now, today's special event was a partnership between WHYY and the National Association of Black Journalists. It was intimate and exclusively reserved to members of the organization, along with 100 journalists or journalism students from local HBCU. Now, essentially, this was a makeup date as Harris was unable to attend the NABJ convention in late July when former President Donald Trump took the stage in Chicago for that highly contentious interview. Um, today, Vice President Harris spoke less about the former president, Donald Trump, and more about her policies and plans specifically affecting black families. She was asked about her plans on dealing with the economy, which she referred to as her quote unquote opportunity economy. Harris said she plans to expand the child tax credit to $6,000 and no working families would pay more than 7% of their income on child care. A standout remark though was Harris saying she intends to be a president for the people. Four years ago, when we came in, um, we came in during the worst unemployment since the Great Depression. We came in during the worst public health epidemic in centuries. We came in after the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. And a lot of it due in large part to the mismanagement by the former president. And another issue that came up was gun violence, specifically on its impact on major cities like Philadelphia. Harris stood firm that she believes in gun control. She also believes in banning assault weapons. And she said that cities like Philadelphia need more resources, a holistic approach to preventing gun violence that will relieve some of the stress off of the communities. Siafa. Aziza, thank you so much. Well, after the panel discussion, Harris stopped by Community College of Philadelphia to rally young volunteers. One of the students, who is also the City of Philadelphia Youth Commissioner, said it's an opportunity to get out the youth vote. Um, I think that it really emphasizes the importance of student engagement. Um, I think that it emphasizes the, the priorities of the current administration um, and hopefully the future administration um, to have students a part of the political process. Harris told the young volunteers that she knows everyone is living online and through phones, but there is an incredible op or power in actually knocking on doors and shaking hands in person. Well, the 